Hello and welcome. In this video, you are going to learn about cloud function in Firebase. Also, we will write our first cloud function and Node.js code in this video. We will learn about server-side programming languages and why you write it and how you write it. So let's start. We discussed about uh, authentication, for database, storage, hosting in the previous videos. Now it's time to talk about cloud functions. What is it and how it is working? So as the definition says, it will run your mobile backend code without managing a server. This is known as serverless programming. It is not because they do not have a server, it is because you do not touch a server. You don't have to configure the server, you don't have to manage any server. They will give you the server, you just deploy your code and it will run, they will run it for you. So what is server? If you have no experience using any server-side programming languages, it might be a little something new to you if you have like um, experience using php you already know why you use server side programming languages let me give you an example of what is the difference between server side and client side so for example if you open if you open our application in the browser we have access to the code you can open inspect element you have access to everything right you can manipulate it you can change data you can do anything this is known as the client side, like everything is rendered here. So what if you manipulate something from here? Let's say we add a few product to the cart and we change the price and we purchase it. So how the security works? That is when the backend programming languages come or the server side programming languages. So what is the difference between them and why you use this one? If let's say for security reason, you put everything in the server. Every time I want to visit any page, it should send a request to the server and until it is coming back, it will take a few seconds. That's why they have separated the back end and the front end. In the front end, you will run this code in the, browsers, uh, in the browser for the client and it will be fast. And for security reason, you have to have a back end. That is just one of the examples of why you use back end and there are many other reasons I'm not going to talk now, maybe in the future video. But I hope you get the idea of why you use server side programming language so in, in this video we are going to write a uh, node.js code at, at, the, at the time of this recording firebase is going to let you write node.js only not any other programming language in their server so let's see start how we can do that one i will uh, come here to my application you know in the previous video we initialize our firebase in our application and we configure everything we need it did create some application called that firebase that uh, functions they have some Y directory and we talk about everything. So if you want to write your cloud function to run on the server, you will open the function for, uh, directory here. Whatever you write in this directory will not come in the browser uh, for the client. If you run your code, this code will not come there. This will be in the server. So here, you have package.json this is similar to what you have here except it has their own comment you can completely delete this one but this is useful if you have it here also you, you have your node module directory here why they created here because some of your packages might be different and you can delete this one let's say the example is like they are using the firebase admin they are using the firebase function you don't have them in your other package.json that's why they have added them here it is useful to let them be here, but still you can delete this one. For now, I will put it there and I will open the index.js here. Inside the index.js, you will write your cloud functions or your node.js code. So let's come to the checkout for the stripe for a, a few minutes. Like this is, you have to write this code to the server. Server, quick start. Node.js, you will write this code. Where will, will we write this code? We will write this code here in the index.js for now it is called index.js so they have an example here we will discuss more about stripe and payment in a future video for now they have an example functions here for you just uncomment this code and you have the hello world function here for example and you can just test it like this you will uncomment your code everything is here you will save it now you have to deploy it at the time of this recording i am using the this version of firebase and that is the current version so what i can do is there is two way to deploy your function as soon as you save it you will not have access to this one because you have to deploy it to the server it should go to the server that's why there is a server side 
and so let's deploy it so i'm currently in the functions directory i can come back to the project directory and from here i can deploy my project to the firebase using firebase deploy coming and it will deploy everything i have to this uh, to the firebase this is not what i want what i want is i just want to deploy my function so the other way is to navigate to the functions directory and from here you have some useful comments these are the comments they have the serve which serve your function and your browser still you will have access to this one and also deploy so let's do the deploy which is the popular one and i will use npm run deploy and it is going to take a few seconds to deploy but this should throw an error for us i'm going to show you how you can fix it so i will pause the video until it shows the error yes here is the error so since i am using an old version of uh, i don't know i did create this project with an old, old, old version of uh firebase that is maybe the reason so they give you this error of engine energy is it and this is the things uh that is causing the error just copy this code from here engine nurges and come to your package.json make sure you are in the functions directory come down and put it down there now save it come to your code and deploy it again if you run the deploy this time again i will pause the video and see how this is going to deploy and how is the process if it give any error i will show you how you can fix it so no error so far it is going to deploy our functions you know this is running only the cloud function because we said we are in the di this directory and this is going to run this one firebase deploy only function so we are just watching to deploy our hello world function no error and it was deployed successfully if you are uh, deploying your cloud function for the first time it will give you this url where you can access your cloud function so let's open our cloud function in the url and see how it looks it shouldn't look fancy but it should display a message for us hello from firebase this code will be in the server and if i come here let's say view the source this is the only thing that display here why because if i come to my index.js it is going to respond to that code and how this code is going to run we will talk more about this in a future video but this is the express engine that will respond to http requests that is what i can tell you for now but we are going to discuss more about cloud function and write more of this code in the future but this code is in the server and whatever you write here uh, the user can see only the result only the response will be shown to the user other codes will not be shown to the user so i will save it for now that's it in this video i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video